Hey guys, it's me, 80 from Rumble War. Today, guys, I want to talk to you guys about Athletic Club versus FC Barca and the Cobo de Rey round of 16, guys. What a massive clash this is going to be, guys. This is probably one of the standard ties of the round of 16, along with maybe you guys can say Real Sociedad versus Athletic Madrid, which actually will take place today, that match. So I'm keen to see how that finishes. Anyhow, getting back to Barcelona here. It's, it's going to be interesting, guys. It's going to be very interesting to see how uh, Xavi uses his team because, like I said, guys, we're probably going to have to go full strength. And the worry for us is that the the next game that we have is going to be against Alaves, which will be on Sunday. So there isn't going to be much gap. So we could see a, we could see somewhat of a rotated team or like a semi, um you know, fully rotated team. But I don't think Xavi is going to do semi. I think he's going to go with almost the full strongest team possible. And um, like I said, guys, we have to take these two competitions seriously because, like I said, guys, we have the Copa del Rey and the Europa League. Both those competitions, I think we could realistically win. Whether we won or not, time will tell. You know, so let's go look at the squad list that is that is out there by FC Barcelona. Uh, Eric Garcia is continuing to be injured. Umtiti did get injured recently, so he will not take part. Musa Wagge is still out. Obviously, you have... Gavi, who's on a red card suspension, but remember, guys, he will miss La Liga match day, not this match. So we could probably see him play this match. Sergio Berto is still out, and Braithwaite, I believe, has recovered. I want to say, and Luke De Jong. Oh no, guys, Luke De Jong will not be able to play tomorrow. He is still suspended for that match. He's going to miss two match days in the Copa del Rey. Dang, that is quite unfortunate there. So yeah. Yeah, I think Braithwaite has recovered. I think most of the players have recovered from Barcelona. So there's a very few players that are injured, and we'll probably see the we'll probably see a pretty good eleven. Okay, now as for Athletic Club, uh, Athletic Bilbao. Unfortunately, I was actually going to plan to do a live stream with my friend. However, my friend has to, has commitments with other things, so unfortunately, he wasn't able to take part today. So he, I just he just told me some of the players to look out for. So he told me. Um, I'm looking at their roster first, and then we'll look at the players in a bit. So, Unia Nunez is out. Una Vescada is out. Iker Munien, eh, say your fellow Bray. There's not really many players out. It's it's pretty much almost full strength team. As you guys can see, right, this is a head-to-head -head between the two. Barcelona won 13 games. Athletic Club have won 7 games, 2 having drawn. Now, keep in mind, this is the Copa del Rey, by the way, not um, in the league. Barcelona won 4 games here at the... Um, at, at the San Mamez, Athletic Cup won seven games, one have entered and draw. As you can see, the guys can see here, the last 10 meetings, Barcelona Athletic, they drew 1-1, one, one, as we know. Um, then the previous one before that, Barcelona won 4-0, we won 2-1, Athletic then won 3-2, we won 3-2, they won one, we won 1-0, one, one, they won 1-0, one, we won 1, they went 1-0, one, geez. And then two games and a draw. So it's been a very tough game, guys. San Mamez, Athletic Club in particular. They've made things very difficult in the D. As you guys can see, Marcelino's record against Barca is not very good. Two wins, seven draws, 17 losses. And the most valuable player for them is Unai Simon. Most valuable player for Barca is Pedro. Tough fixture goal scores. Lino Messi, Tana Mazzara, Golir Gostri, Bata, and Piri Gomez. So it's interesting that there's no, there's only one Barcelona player. And that's not even a Barcelona player right now anymore. So interesting to say, right? Okay, so now let's go look into the players. Let's go look. Let's talk a bit about Athletic Club. Athletic Bilbao. This is a team that relishes these cup competitions. They love to play in these cup competitions. They love to t thrive in these kind of occasions, and they typically do very well in these competitions. And the, we know that they're capable of beating any big team. We saw last season they were able to beat the top four in Spain last season, and that I feel like is a very impressive achievement. And they always make things difficult. You know, it's not like an easy team to roll over against. You know, and generally speaking, um, in the league, they're not very good. At. It's just where the Cups they've been in. Like, Copa del Rey, they're very good in. And the Super Cup, they're very good in. Um, so, it's going to be interesting to see how this one fares out. Because, remember, guys, remember, we did beat them last season 4-0 in the Copa del Rey final. So, you know, we basically smashed them in the final. Um, so, it's interesting to see how this one will occur this time around. And can Athletic Club actually get revenge? So... Yeah, now let's go talk a bit about how their their style is. They like to play in a 4-4-2. They like to play a very much pressure on the attackers. Low block. And they have some players you got to keep in mind. Um, Obviously, you have Iker Munian, who is one player to keep an eye upon. He's the captain, of course. Unai Simon, who's the most valuable player ever. He's a Spanish number one goalkeeper. They have Inigo Martinez, who's a very good center back. Then, um, then you have Oliver Sanset. 
who is a um, great attack. Oh, hands on set. Sorry, not Oliver. Great attack and midfielder. And then you also have Nico Williams, who's a great right winger there. So that's a very, very interesting indeed. So um, like I said, guys, this athletic club team, it's a, it's not an easy team to play against. As you guys can see, their best best players this season have been Iñaki Williams with five goals, Igor Munian with five assists. And yeah, you guys can see there is very, very interesting indeed. Now they're coming off a game against Real Madrid and the um, Supercopa final, which they lost 2 0. So it's going to be interesting to see how they bounce back from here because, like I said, guys, they've had a very tough couple of games because obviously we know they played against Atletico Madrid, then they played Real Madrid, and now they're going to obviously play Barcelona. So it's a very, very tough for them. And I think we could see them do somewhat of a rotated 11 somewhat. I, I think they're going to go full strength, though, just because this is at the San Mamez. This is at home. And like I said, we generally know that they don't really have that. They don't really care about the league as much as we do. So, yeah. And their next match is against Rival Alcana, which will be very, very interesting to see what happens in that match. So, with that being said, let's go look at the Barcelona 11. So, as you guys can see, you guys, Barcelona this season. The moral of this season has been we've been really good, but we just cannot finish our opportunities. We just can't be clinical whatsoever. That's really been the theme for us Barcelona fans this season. And that's really been the huge, um, most disappointing thing. You guys can see Memphis Depay has scored the most goals for us, eight goals. Jordi Alba's got the most assists. Ante Vidal is their second place, although he's tied with Luke de Jong. Gavi, Dest, you know. It, it, it's really interesting to see how this Barcelona team will do. And will we see rotation for Xavi? Because like I said before, guys, this is a very important game. And I'm not really sure how much Xavi's going to rotate. I think we'll, we'll we'll definitely see some rotation on this game. We'll definitely see some rotation. And wow, Dest is third on here, three assists, despite not being, being trusted, according to Xavi here. So let's go ahead and look at the starting eleven. Let's go ahead and predict the starting eleven, guys. And um, and yeah, let's start with goalkeeper, guys. Goalkeeper, I'm gonna go with obviously. It's an interesting choice. You have Neto or Mark Andre Tristegen. I believe we're gonna see Mark Andre Tristegen because this is Athletic Bilbao. Now, if this was like a second division team, then I would have probably said um um. Uh, Probably, um, what's his name called again? Neto, but I believe, I think Xavi will go almost full strength for this game. Right back, it's interesting because right back, according to rumors, we may not, Dest is kind of considered being sold at this very moment. <sighs> you know what, guys? I'm going to go for a wild card and say that Dest will start this match because, like I said, this isn't the league. And this is, like I said, I think he's going to rotate somewhat. So he won't go full strength. And like I said, Danny Alva has been playing a lot the last couple of games and he needs to rest. And we know that um Minguez has not been good so I'm hoping to god that we see Dest but it's probably more likely we're going to see Danny Alves if I'm being honest but I'm going to put just put Dest just because he's not he hasn't played in a while anyway center backs um for me I think center back is definitely going to be um PK I think he's going to definitely start this match now it's interesting because I don't know if you guys know this after the El Clasico Araujo actually wasn't he wasn't completely fit he had some um he had some he had like these um I think he had some ankles in his thing. Uh, like, he wasn't, like, 100% fit. Um, you guys can see images on Twitter. Uh, for Breach Romano posted. And I just think that, for me, Aral wanted to play that game so much because it's against Real Madrid. Now, I don't know if he's fully recovered from that point, which is the reason why I don't think he'll start this match. I remember I always told you guys that I think Xavi will try to somewhat rotate this team. Like, do, like, a maybe, like, eight stars and three bench players, if that makes any sense. So, I feel like Araujo could be one that could be rested. And unfortunately, this would mean that we would have Longley. Unfortunately, I think Longley will start this match just because of that, guys. Uh, left back, we're going to see Jordi Alba obviously start this match. I think that's pretty much a no-brainer. Center mid, we're going to see Busquets. I think that's pretty much a no-brainer as well, despite him not having a great game against Real Madrid. Center mid, I think we're going to see Pedri start this match. I think Pedri needs a more match fitness match sharpness so i think it'll start and then i think gavi's gonna start this game because he's suspended that la liga match anyway so we might as well start in this match oh yeah forgot, gavi won't be in b here hopefully but you guys know what i mean here so de young's gonna be on the bench left wing is interesting because we now have could we see ansu fati actually start this match um actually let's get back to that one a bit striker i think we're gonna see luke de young Oh, actually, never mind. We can't see Luke Dion because he's suspended. Striker, we're going to see Ferran Torres, I think. Ferran Torres, I think we're going to see start. 
just because he needs some more minutes. On the left wing, I think we're going to see Fati, but I don't think Fati nor Fran Torres will play the full match. Um, Where's Fati? Why isn't he showing up? Bro, why is there not Fati? On to... There you go. Right winger. I would have originally put Dembele, but according to rumors today in his press conference, Javi did state that Dembele has to either renew or leave. So in that case, because of Dembele's future uncertainty with this club, I don't think Dembele would start, which is probably going to lead us to probably seeing... Um, we'll probably see Abde start this match. Or we, we could see is this. We could see left wing Ansu Fadi, right wing Ferran Torres, and striker Memphis Depay. Which actually, now that I think it's actually more likely. I don't think Abde is going to start this match. So right wing, I'm actually going to say Torres. And then left wing, I'm going to... And striker, I'm going to say Depay. I know Depay hasn't really been that great. I know he hasn't been that great. I know many of us fans have been very vocal about him. But that is what I believe. So this is what I believe would be the starting 11. Uh, actually, now that you'll probably see more Danny Alves than Dest. Nothing about, but like I said, Annie Alva is not registered on this thing, so I'll just put Dan and Dest right now. But yeah, um, you know, so as for my prediction for this match, guys, it's a tough game to predict. It's a tough game to predict because we know Athletic Club is a type of team that could make things very difficult for us, and we know they're not easy team to play against, especially at the side of my mess. But I do have a feeling that we're going to win this match. I just have that feeling. And I do believe we're going to win this. It's going to be a close game, though. It's going to be a very close game, and I could see us just edging this 2-1. A 2-1 scoreline, which I would more than take, honestly, at this point. And I think the goal scorer for them is obviously going to be Iñaki Williams. He loves to turn up against Barcelona. He's a very good player. We know what he's capable of doing. So I'm going to say Iñaki Williams score for them. And then for us, I'm going to say... I'm going to say Fati scores. And I'm going to say Pedri scores. Fati and Pedri scores. So like I said, guys, if we do win this match, we'll be in the quarterfinals. And I'm actually keen to see... When is our quarterfinal draw in the Copa del Rey? I'm keen to see because I last time I told you guys the Copa del Rey thing and it was completely wrong. So, oh, guys, I just saw the news right here. Memphis Depay misses training ahead of Barca's Copa del Rey clash. Well, actually, in that case, guys, I don't think Depay will start then. Actually, ah, oh, crap, come on, man. Okay, um, Depay, I don't think it's gonna start then. Striker again, I guess we'll say um Torres. And I guess we'll say Abde. Yeah, we'll say Abde, guys, for right now. So, yeah, man. Very interesting, indeed. I didn't expect that. Anyways, let me go look. I just wanted to look at the Copa Ray. When is the draw going to take place for the quarterfinals? So, quarterfinal draw. That's going to be held on January 21st. Wow, that's going to be on Friday again, guys. Wow, guys. Dang, that's going to be interesting. So, and like, there's no pots for this to run around, guys. There's no pots. So, like, we could go against any team at this point. So, it'll be really interesting, guys. Really interesting indeed. And let's just look at the quarterfinals right now. We have Cadiz, we have Mallorca, Rio Vacano, Rio Batiste, Valencia. So, no Sevilla, guys. They got eliminated by um, Real Batiste. So, I think it's going to be very interesting. So, um, I'll definitely give you guys more of an update which team I really want to face in the next round. Um, because we still have three games to play, so I'm not going to give you guys that just yet, but just so you guys know, the draw is going to be held on Friday. So that's going to be very interesting. So I hope you guys do enjoy that, guys. Like I said, guys, very interesting video. So I hope you guys do enjoy. Make sure you guys comment down below your predictions. Comment down below your thoughts. Make sure you guys like this video as well. Subscribe if you're new around here. And check out my platforms below for, the, for my other platforms. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out.